Do you ever think about how you can drastically improve your pickleball shots? This is a common question in the minds of all pickleball players, from beginners to pro. The first time you pick up a pickleball paddle is the first step in developing your own personal playing style. Mastering effective pickleball hitting techniques will allow you to hone, amplify, and improve your playing style. As your gaming prowess grows, so will your enjoyment of each game. The different shots you'll need to master to become a well-rounded and competent player are easier to learn if you have experience with a similar paddle racket sport, such as tennis, table tennis, squash, badminton, or any of these. But that doesn't rule out the possibility of rapid improvement even for complete beginners, who have never picked up a paddle before. No matter what skill level you have in pickleball, the video is going to have some beneficial information for you, so make sure to watch till the end. Hello and welcome to Pro Pickleball Media, your number one spot for all pickleball content. Our channel is dedicated to the fastest growing sport in the US and we cover all fun and exciting things related to pickleball. So if you love pickleball and want to learn more about it, just take a second to subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss any of our recent videos. In today's video, we're going to talk about six hitting strategies to master your game in pickleball. Now let's get right into the video. Number one, hitting ground strokes smoothly. When the ball is bounced once after clearing the net, a ground stroke may be executed. When an attacking opportunity presents itself, you will utilize ground strokes most often when returning the ball and driving the ball from mid-court. Once you reach the non-volley zone, you will employ a full motion ground stroke far less frequently, but it's still possible and likely that you will do so sometimes. Forehand drive ground stroke techniques closely resemble serve techniques. In order to prepare for an accurate shot, you must immediately approach the ball after determining its trajectory. Ensure you have sufficient space to step forward as you commence your swing, allowing your weight to shift forward as you make contact with the ball while maintaining a front contact. Numerous players underestimate how much room they require, resulting in a shot that is excessively crowded. On a forehand, a right-handed player's right foot should be placed as far behind the ball as possible given the available time. Then you'll enter the shot with your left foot. This offers you body room to rotate while you swing and the palm of your hand will guide the swing. In the instance of a right-handed backhand, the left foot will serve as the back foot, while the right foot will be used to step in and lead the shots with the knuckles. When striking the pickleball, you should be as fluid as possible. This is accomplished by utilizing a calm swing and a not-too-tight grip. This offers you the ability to effortlessly hit long shots. With sufficient practice, you can execute these shots with great assurance. Number 2. Forehands for the win For most players, the forehand is the most powerful and steady side due to the fact that it is easier to smash while leading with the palm than with the knuckles. After the overhead, the forehand drive action, which can be employed on a ground stroke or swinging volley, is the second most powerful shot in pickleball. However, it is struck significantly more frequently than the overhand, making it more powerful and deadly stroke in pickleball. Now before we move ahead to talk about more game-changing pickleball tips, please take a second to like this video and subscribe to our channel so that we keep bringing more informative pickleball content to you. Your little contribution means a lot for us. Number 3. Hitting backhands with the right grip as stated previously, many players favor their forehand. When at the baseline, many players like myself are normally in the ready position with the forehand grip. As a result, many players lack a decent backhand grip if they have not adequately trained it. They use a forehand optimized grip when hitting with their backhand. Not good. Let's correct that. If you have the right grip, backhands are much easier to hit. You're permitted to utilize the continental grip. The continental grip is formed by aligning the V formed by the thumb and index finger on top of the paddle with the paddle's edge. When time is limited and the slice is desired, it is often advantageous to employ a continental grip to execute a backhand drive using a continental grip. It is the optimal grip for a backhand slice. The eastern backhand grip is the optimal grip for a backhand drive, whether you hit it flat or with a topspin. For this grip, rotate your hand approximately one inch to the left of the continental, if you're riding, such that your index knuckle is in line with the paddle's edge. Next, you must be positioned properly in relation to the ball. Once you know where the ball is headed, move fast to it and position your left foot, if you're a right-footed player, as far behind it as possible. Turn your shoulder significantly more than you believe and position your right shoulder such that it points at the ball. Your opponent should be able to see a small portion of your back that is required amount of rotation. This allows you to produce force by uncoiling your hips and shoulders while swinging through the ball using the strength of your core muscles. Practice receiving the ball at a comfortable distance from your body so that you are neither too far forward nor too far to your body. Aim for a balanced, comfortable stance with a modest forward lean towards the ball. You should contact the ball with your paddle when it's ahead of your body by a small margin. Extend out and upward to complete the shot. Number 4. Hitting Volleys for Defense and Offense In pickleball, the volley is a common and useful shot that is typically employed when the player is close to the non-volley zone line. 
Volleys can be hit aggressively or utilized in a soft game to displace opponents. Your objective is to strike the ball before it can bounce. You place yourself in front of the paddle with your knees slightly bent. You must be prepared for both backhand and forehand volleys. As the ball crosses the net, you should have your paddle's face slightly open and facing the ball. Maintain the paddle's face angle throughout the shot. This allows you to regulate the ball's speed and direction. You do not need to swing at the ball, rather you should hold the paddle out in front of you and punch the ball using your shoulder as your hinge. The wrist and elbow should move little. Number 5. Hitting Dink Shots in or near the kitchen The dink is created with the paddle face open and is intended to fall primarily within or near the non-volley zone as part of your soft game. The continental grip permits you to reach both forehand and backhands without adjusting your grip. On a dink, your body position is crucial since the ball is struck low to the ground. You must bend your knees and contact the ball slightly in advance of your torso. Keep your feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart and your knees bent. The swing is accomplished with a brief upward movement of the paddle resulting in minimal movement. It's more of a prod than a punch. Keep your follow through brief and concise. This affords you ample time to reposition yourself for the following shot. Number 6. Master the Spin and Slice Before you can properly apply spin to both your forehand and backhand shots, you must engage in some practice. This is an advanced shot that is required as you progress through the tiers. First, you should practice slicing in order to keep the ball low. After you've mastered slicing, you can incorporate top spin into your game. Forehand Slice You can practice a forehand slice against a wall before attempting it on the court. Try cutting the ball with a somewhat high to low action when striking the ball against the wall, as opposed to simply pushing the ball directly and hitting it flush with your paddle face. Imagine you are, in a sense, peeling the ball surface away. This adds a small amount of spin to the ball, as the paddle essentially rubs against its surface. Many commit the error of making a deep cut. Don't do that. It's only a minor modification to how you generally strike the ball. Due to the spin, you will see that the ball no longer returns directly to you, but rather comes off the wall at an angle. Once you've mastered the slice during practice, you may attempt it during a game. Utilize it when you're close to the net as a supplement to your standard dink. Backhand Slice Using the identical technique we outlined for the forehand slice, we will now attempt to slice with your backhand. The same principles of a light blow to low speed and skimming the ball surface rather than making solid contact apply. Always maintain touch with the ball slightly in front of your torso with slightly bent knees. So what is your number one strategy to hit perfect pickleball shots? Tell us in the comments. Also, don't forget to like this video and share it with your fellow picklers. Also, if you love pickleball, make sure to watch this next video on our channel. Thanks for watching.